It's Dave from Bullpen Cycles. It's still set up day at the Barber Vintage Motorcycle Festival. We interrupt our regularly scheduled filming for a special production. I have to buy something. So what am I buying? I give you a hint. Think grumpy old men. Well, that could be me, but I'll say it again. I'll say it really slowly because this is your hint. Grumpy old men. So I'll uh, keep you in suspense while we're walking. It's down at the end of this row. Yeah, probably too much yep. sun glare. Nope, it's not any of these. Two thirds of a topper. Well, there it is. Still don't know what it is? It's a Greaves, but it's not a Greaves. It's got a Triumph motor and a Greaves Triumph Grump. That's what they're called. They're called a Grump. It's actually a very common conversion. I'll try it with the sun in my back. Okay, so here's your weird, your Greaves weirdness with your 19 inch front. Uh, I, I guess that's called Earl's site type suspension, but there's probably another name for it. Here's your big honking aluminum down tube that would be on a Greaves. This would normally have a, oh, I think by then they stopped using billers and used their own motor. It would have had a Greaves two-stroke motor with a Berman box, but this has been replaced with a Triumph 500cc twin. And in my mind, that's the perfect engine for this bike. It's probably the smoothest Triumph motor that the company ever built. Now, why did I buy this? I've only ever seen these as unfinished projects, but this one's done. It was actually rallied, and it's actually street plated. And it just finished a 1,000 mile uh, adventure run, enduro. I don't know what type. A thousand miles is a hell of a long way to go on an enduro. It's got new Hagon shocks, front and rear, LED front lighting. And we'll have this fellow tell us more about it. This is the owner. We've consummated our deal. Tell us about this bike. Well, it started life as a 1961 Greaves Hawkstone, which was a, a winning uh, motocross scrambles bike of the day. Now, how many cc's was a Hawkstone? 250. The, oh, that's that's the early style forks then. Yes, this is one of the early Greaves. This was uh, you know, 1961. Uh, you know, they they were competitive uh, well up into the mid 60s, but after that, you know, it started to taper off. But the 61 Hawkstone was was a a great bike. But what typically happened? Uh, these bikes were used a lot for desert racing out in in California, and when the motor would blow, the 250 motor, uh, the easy thing to do was just to cobble a, a 650 or a 500 Triumph motor into the bike. And which, back then, that 250 was a Villers two-stroke. Exactly. And did it still have a Berman box, or was it a different transmission, if you know? It was not a separate uh, Gearbox. It was it was oh, a unit construction it, oh, it in, the, a in unit the Villiers, Villiers, if I remember correctly. Okay, that uh, makes sense. 
and I didn't know a whole lot about that motor other than the fact it was a unit construction 250. Right, okay. Uh, I don't think they were very strong motors, and I think that's the reason so many of them were replaced. But uh, the 500, I was told, was the the best East Coast bike, you know, like a Woods bike for Enduro, where the 650 Grump was more of a West Coast configuration for desert racing. Um, it is fast for what it is, and it is light for what it is. And like you said, it's been it's been run uh, twice in a thousand mile vintage dual sport event, where all tools and camping gear and everything was carried with the bike uh, over a five day period to complete the thousand miles. Uh, and I don't see myself doing that. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, I'll do a day trip. Thank you. <laughs> So does it have a battery or is it running on a mag? It, on a it does have a battery. It's up under the seat. Uh, it's a glass mat battery, very small, okay. uh, a very lightweight battery. And uh, it seemed to hold up very well, but it's it's very, very small battery. But two bolts, one bolt up front, pull the seat off and it sits right up under. You can, you can actually see it right here, right. just barely. Uh, it's Again, custom made tank. Custom made oil tank. And so basically you just had to make the Engine mount plates for it since engine it already had a engine unit mount motor in plates. It. Uh, of course, like, again, every bearing pulled this thing down, took the wheels apart, took all the front end apart, the rear end apart, shocks were replaced, the pipes were custom made uh, by a guy out in California. Uh, twin, you know, pipes. Uh, well, light it up. All right. And I'll come back for my. Paperwork. I do need to get that plate off of there. Oh, all right. I'll fire it up Take and come back. this.